This is a short video showing you how to set up the home position sensors on the rainbow mount. It starts with having a tripod that's exactly level. This digital level has a very accurate bubble level on the top with divisions of 0 0.033 degrees and you can set up the level to within fractions of um, a, a degree. So the first thing to do is level your mount. So I place it one way and the bubbles in the middle and then I place it north-south and again the bubble is similarly in the middle and I can adjust the feet on the tripod in order to get this perfectly level. So this is level within half a division so that's 0 0.015 of a degree which is pretty good. And what I'm going to do is take this top plate off and attach this to the bottom amount and come back in a few minutes. Okay, so now what I've done is put the mount onto the tripod and I put it in the alt as position which is confirmed by if I put the level this way it's showing it is level front and back. So I just tighten those gently, it's not a great load and what I'm going to do is first of all find the home position. So a long press of here and it will find the home position. The mount is in equatorial mode, but it doesn't really matter. And all it's doing is finding the limits, and then it's applying the offset that was standard in the software. And what we've discovered is that all of the software um, has the same limits in, but the actual mechanical position of the home sensors will be slightly different in each mount. So it says it's home successfully. So again, I just check that's level that way, and if I turn that that way, it's very slightly off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it to a slow slew speed and I'm going to slightly alter the position. Just a bit faster. Whoops, too far. So just moving it in declination only. I'll go a bit slower. So that now is smack in the middle of the bubble this way. So now what I'm going to do is rotate the mount so that it's more or less horizontal and then I'm going to rock it in RA until it is similarly flat. So I'm going to put the handset down for a second. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to undo these. I'm going to move that down like that. Just do it up slightly. And then put my level back on like that. And now I'm just going to change the RA setting, which will rotate it this way. Just a bit faster. Other way. Too far. A bit too far. There we go. So that now is level this way. So in other words, I've rocked the RA axis this way and now the RA axis is also level. So if I put the level round the other way um, and went back to um, a zero declination, which I don't think you can do on this mount, not precisely. It says zero, but it isn't really zero. Um, it would be horizontal that way as well. Now what I've got to do is find the menu item in the handset. Okay, so the menu you use is the long press of the ENT button and you scroll down until you get a, come across mount setup, hit enter and then it says mount configuration and offset set. So we want offset set and press the button and then I'm just going to press and enter and if you look at the numbers on the display they've changed very slightly by fractions of a degree. So now if I take this off, put that down there, and come out of that, if I find the home position again or move off it by increasing the slew rate, if I now find the home position again by a long press of this, the level should be still level. So I'm going to put this down for a second.
So it finds the home positions, and once it's found them, it applies the offset to find the true, accurate home position. And the reason you're doing this is that it improves the initial slew accuracy. So it's now finished. So if I put that this way round, it shows it being level. that's level that way and if I release these and move it this way it's all the way and I put this on here it should be level as well in fact it's very slightly off which is interesting so I'm just going to repeat that and fix that before I finish so I'm just going to move what I might have done is press the, the, the other slew button accidentally, so it's worthwhile double checking as we're doing here. So come out of that. So just getting into the middle. That's that one. Move it back to this. Now it won't be always perfect because um, the sensors are optical sensors typically, a Hall effect, and their repeatability isn't perfect, but we're at least taking out some error. So again, put this on here, and it's very slightly out, so slow it down. That's in the middle now. So again, I go into the long end, Mount setup, offset set, press end, and it's put in the new coordinates. So there we have it. That's the way um, I set up the mount so that it's accurate. As I said, a couple of users found we had exactly the same numbers in the system, which means it was just a factory uh, default. But tuning it like this just improves the accuracy slightly. Thanks for watching.